Welcome to the 26th meeting in 2024 of the Delegated Powers and Law Reform Committee. We have received the apology today from Daniel Johnson, MSP, and also Tim Eagle, MSP. I'd like to remind everyone uh, present to please switch off or put to silent their mobile phones and other electronic devices. The first item of business is to decide whether to take items 5, 6 and 7 in private. Is the committee content to take these items in private? Yes. Under agenda item number 2, we are considering an instrument subject to the affirmative procedure. No points have been raised on the draft public procurement international trade agreement. Sorry, I'll say that again. The draft public procurement international trade agreements, miscellaneous amendments, Scotland regulations 2024. Is the committee content with this instrument? Yes. Uh, does the committee also wish to welcome the UK Government's commitment to amend the Procurement Act 2023 to correct the reference to the enabling power in section 122.14 uh, as highlighted in the policy note accompanied uh, the SSI? Yes. Under agenda item number three, we are considering instruments subject to the negative procedure. No points have been raised on SSI's 2024, 235, 241 and 243. Is the committee content with these instruments? Yes. In relation to SSI 2024-235, does the committee wish to draw the committee's correspondence with the Scottish Government to the attention of the lead committee, that's the Equalities, Human Rights and Civil Justice Committee, for its information? Yes. And does the committee also wish to highlight to the lead committee the level of fee uplift in relation to share of court fees of around 10% or 20%? Yes. Under agenda item number four, we're considering an instrument not subject to any parliamentary procedure. No points have been raised on SSI 2024 242. Is the committee content with this instrument? Content. Thank you. And that now concludes the public part of the meeting, and I'll move the committee into private.